October is about to get tail blazing. Not one, not two, but three comets are heading our way this month, and it's shaping up to be an amazing show for anyone who loves the night sky. Whether you're an amateur astronomer, a photographer, or just someone who enjoys looking up, this is something you seriously don't want to miss. Two of these comets are expected to be bright enough to see with your naked eye, and one of them might even create a small meteor shower. That's right, a whole night of sky magic all at once. The comet I'm most excited about is Comet C 2025A6 Lemon. It was discovered earlier this year by the Mount Lemon Survey in Arizona, and has a long orbit of about 1,300 years. That means the last time it came near the inner solar system was over a thousand years ago. Lemon will get closest to Earth around October 21st, passing roughly 90 million kilometers away. According to predictions, it could reach a brightness of magnitude 4.8 to 8. That might not mean much right now, but under a dark sky, it could be visible without any binoculars. Even if it's a bit dimmer than expected, a pair of binoculars will make it easy to spot. Early in October, you can find Lemon toward the northeast before dawn, and by mid-October, it moves into the evening sky. Around its closest approach, you can see it after sunset in the northwestern sky, about 30 to 40 degrees above the horizon. The second comet, Comet CC 2025R2 Swan, is just as exciting. Discovered in September by Soho's Swan Instrument, this comet has already been captured in images going back to August. Swan's closest approach to Earth is almost exactly the same time as Lemon, October 20th to 21st, but it will pass even closer around 40 million kilometers away. This comet could even trigger a small meteor shower between October 4th and 6th though, unfortunately, the full moon on October the 6th of May wash out some of the fainter meteors. Swan's brightness predictions vary, but some estimates say it could reach magnitude 4, similar to Lemon. From the northern hemisphere, the best view is after sunset, looking west to southwest, close to the Milky Way. The third comet is CC 2025 K1 Atlas. While it's not expected to be as bright as Lemon or Swan, it still reaches around magnitude 5 or 6, which makes it a fantastic target for binoculars. K1 Atlas will be closest to the Sun on October 8th and nearest to Earth at the end of November. However, its brightest moments are in October, so this is the best time to spot it. For observers in the Northern Hemisphere, it's best seen before sunrise, but because it's close to the Sun, you won't have a lot of time to catch it. The perfect time to see all three comets together is likely the evening of October 20th through the morning of October 21st. On this night, the new moon ensures minimal interference from moonlight, making comet tails easier to see. Around 7 p.m. on October 20th, Lemon and Swan will both be visible at the same time. And by 6 a.m. the next morning, K1 Atlas will appear right next to Lemon. Using apps like Stellarium or Sky Safari can help you locate them in the sky and plan your observations. You can even add the comet's orbital information to Stellarium by importing MPC data making it easier to track them from your location. Observing the comets can be as simple or as advanced as you like. If you have binoculars, even a basic pair will make a big difference. For those who want to photograph them, comets move quickly compared to the background stars. So long exposures can make them appear blurry. Shorter exposures, around 30 seconds, work well to capture sharp images. If you're lucky enough to get clear skies, take a few moments to simply enjoy the view. Snap some photos, Try tracking them across the sky, or just sit back and marvel at the cosmic show. October 2025 is shaping up to be a night for the history books, with three comets lighting up the sky, and a chance to see them all in one night. This is a rare opportunity. Keep your eyes on the skies, plan ahead, and hopefully, the weather will cooperate.